These sprinklers are part of a strategy to save trees in Vancouver's Stanley Park. Approximately 25% of the trees in Stanley Park are dead or dying at this time. Killed by the western hemlock looper, a natural pest that usually causes problems for a year or two. But because the park is so dry, this infestation is in its fourth year of destruction. In the, you know, the, the recorded history of, the, of Stanley Park, as we are aware, uh, there's no record of this amount of mortality. Just one example of the slow-moving emergency that is BC's drought, gripping 80% of the province. Areas in orange or red are likely or certain to be hurt for lack of moisture. It is unlike any kind of drought conditions the province has ever faced and, in my opinion, truly is a, a sleeping giant of a natural disaster that we are challenged with right now. The impacts will be very, very real. There are worries rivers will be too shallow and too warm for spawning salmon. And concerns about tourism too. In Tofino, hotels have removed plugs from bathrooms so guests won't use too much water bathing. This summer in particular, we received about 75% less rain than we would in a typical fairly dry summer. Rain though, if it comes too heavy, too hard, will bring problems of its own. In areas that have exposed soil, either due to drought or forest fires, which are basically the result of the drought, we may wind up with increased flooding. There's potential then for a pylon of disasters, all of them linked, adding more anxiety, uncertainty and change to a province that's endured so much already. Lindsay Duncombe, CBC News, Vancouver.